right, so today I'm gonna show you how to build this beautiful bench and check these drawers out. Booyah for storing all your junk where you don't have to see it. You ready? Let's go. So today we're gonna build a bench with drawers for this corner. It's gonna go awesome. Ronald's here to help me, so I'm fired up about that. We finished uh, Heidi's desk, it's come together. And uh, let me show you the wood we got over here. So I still have my abundance of wood to pick from. The reason I have so much wood is I, I come up with a plan, but then once I get in a project, I have to innovate and adapt. And you wanna have more than you need so you don't have to stop. Because once you stop and go pick up you know, supplies at the hardware store, it's just a killer to momentum. And it's a waste of money and time. So you can return all this stuff so I get more than I need and whatever I don't use, I take back and Home Depot is absolutely great. So we're gonna use these two by fours to frame out. Uh, I'll show you the drawing here. This will help you give some context. So, well, this is my scratch. I wouldn't call it a drawing. So we ordered pillows that are gonna be on the top. They're 45 inches long, 18 inches wide. And so the back corner, they only had a square pillow that was 20 inches. So we're gonna have to make everything 20 inches and then we're gonna put a little uh, back brace to kind of fill in the two inch gap there so our 18 inch cushions fit in good. And then the total length will be 63. So down here you see more of a, th a three dimensional. I'm gonna build one, two, three, four, five basic wooden block frames out of those two by fours. And then I'm gonna connect them with two by fours and then we're gonna use shiplap on the sides and then we're gonna create these cool baskets tomorrow that you can pull out with wheels. And I already brought the wheels for them, so I'm really excited. It's gonna be a beautiful piece. And then on the top, I'm gonna to use these old doors that came from the house, but they are solid wood. Whoa, look at that, two inches thick. So, we, you know, you could put a 400 pound purse on the top of this bench and those doors wouldn't bend. So that's gonna be put here at 63 inches long, and then I'll just cut it at a little 45 that you can see here. And that's how I'm gonna put my bench together. So anyways, this is gonna be a fun project. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I know it's gonna be beautiful and uh, we've got a glorious day to build today. So let's see how things go. All right, we got our wood cut. These are gonna be for the four, excuse me, five boxes we're gonna be building. All right, we got our five box frames all cut. They're 18 inches high and 20 inches wide. And that is the perfect size. And uh, basically, I'm gonna connect these now, and this is gonna be our frame and structure from which we build on. All right, so we've got our frames pretty much together. I decided to go with three individual parts. So we're gonna have two benches and drawers, one, two, and then this is just gonna be the box, and I'll probably make a lid where you can use that inside for storage. So anyways, it's coming together, and right now we're just attaching the frame, and I'm about to cut those doors where we're gonna put the tops on everything. All right, so we got our pieces cut from the door. That's gonna be the little back nook there. This will be the second bench. Look at that. We got the first bench already adorned with its door. And uh, you can see what Ronald's doing here. This is our frame and I just want it sturdy and strong. So we're putting one screw in each two by four. And you see the weight's actually gonna be just born here by the actual board. This is almost just decorative because this will help me put the boards on the back. So it's not gonna be any really weight bearing on that. Everything will be on this post going to the ground. But to keep it there, uh, Ronald's putting in these little L brackets. It doesn't matter if you get short or long, it's just gonna hold that board there because coming through here with screws is so difficult. It's so much easier, I find, just to put these brackets in. So anyways, that is what we're framing up right here. You'll see on this one, we're gonna frame up all four sides because it's just gonna be a hollow basket or I can make it a shoe rack. And then this we left open because this is where the drawer is gonna be rolling in and out. And we'll build that tomorrow and it's gonna turn out beautiful. So anyways, it's coming along pretty well today. All right, so just like the doors, I'm gonna take this little itsy bitsy plywood. I mean, that's gotta be an eighth of an inch. It's just thin. That's gonna be the back of our bench because anyways, it'll keep everything nice and light, but it'll still contain everything and nobody will see it. So I'm gonna mill out of that uh, our two back panels. I just got it measured at 20 and then we'll cut it at 45 so we'll be able to get both backs out of this one strip. And uh, you'll see we did the same thing with the doors. We just uh, used the skill saw, made our cuts uh, with a simple skill saw and then you can see the rest of the door is down there. So you can do a lot with scrap wood as long as it's big enough. All right. So we're securing the tops now to the frame. 
And what we've done is we've cut this little thin one by eight board for the back. And we're gonna run some glue there. I recommend this glue here. This is my favorite glue. It just works great. The Loctite all purpose. I use it for caulk and I use it for glue. So we'll just run that along this back edge. We'll fold that up like that. And then we'll just take this little uh, brad nail gun here, which is fantastic. And then we'll just run uh, probably one inch brads in there. You'll see they're not too long. So those are the one inch brads that I'm using. And then for the two by fours, I was using an 18 gauge and that's about a two inch brad there. So anyways, uh, great tools here. It makes the job so easy when you have the right tools. Okay, so there's the glue and Ronald's gonna fold the board up there. There it is. And he'll take his gun. I'll go ahead and get it loaded for him. There you go. He makes sure it's where he wants it. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hold it on this side so it's nice and flush for him. Somebody was knowing what they were doing on those cuts and they go ahead and put your first brad up there. There you go. Ow! Just kidding. All right, there we go. And he'll work his way around, secure the board on there. Now what I recommend doing is basically starting here and then working your way around, just kind of going in order and that just helps seal, you know, it prevents any air bubbles or things like that or, uh, you know, wood flexing in the wrong direction on you. All right, it's coming along pretty well here. We got the cushions today. The benches uh, are very sturdy and strong. They fit well together. And now I'm gonna build the drawers. All right, so tonight I'm getting set up for a night build. Had a busy day today, but uh, gonna have a clear night tonight, but it's gonna get dark here pretty soon. It's uh, daylight savings time. This right here, this beautiful MDF board, hopefully just one of them, is what I'm gonna use to create both drawers. You'll see this is kind of my layout here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna cut our main board the full size of what we want the drawer to be. So this will be our base and the opening is 37 and a half. So by the way, I have a piece of tape on my hand because I sliced my hand last night picking up those MDF boards. So be careful, they're sharp. So anyways, I'm gonna cut my board about a half inch short of the width of the opening. And same thing, I'm gonna cut it about a half inch short of the height. Depth, same thing, we got 19 deep. So I'm gonna be cutting it 18 and a half. So that'll be my main board. And then these will be the front and back boards. They're gonna be at 35 because I want the sides to go the full length of the board and they're three fourths of an inch long. So you do the math, take an inch and a half off of that, you get 35. The reason we want that is because we want to pull against the screw uh, the side of the screw. So imagine this is a screw. We want to pull in this direction. We don't want to have the long port of our drawer uh, being what we tug on because that'll eventually pull the screw out. So that's why we're going to make our sides longer. Well, anyways, that is what we're going to do. We're going to be cutting these one, two, three, four, five boards tonight and uh, hopefully assembling them. And then these are the wheels that I've got right here. And uh, actually, I got to update my math because my opening is 14. So I got 13 and a half, but I need to reduce that by two inches because these wheels are going to have the drawer up two inches. So again, the old adage is so true. Measure twice, cut once. So I'm going to update my drawings here because these are the wheels that I'm going to put on and they are exactly two inches. All right. It looks like I can get all my cuts out of this one board if I make it count. So this will be base one, base two, front side one, back side one, front side two, back side two, side one, side one, side two, side two. I gotta go to football. We got the champ right here. But uh, when I get back, we'll start making our cuts. Okay, so what I'm doing here is piloting some holes. Remember, we wanna put these on the side because when we pull on the drawer, we don't want the pressure to be coming against the screw and therefore pulling it out. So this will keep the, the screws more secure. So anyways, uh, I just do a little pilot hole and then I throw in my bit. Any wood screw will do. And uh, they go in pretty good. You just wanna make sure it's centered in the wood. And then I just make sure it's flush. And that's it, and the drawer's coming out really good. You can see here I've glued the sides and the base. And uh, in just a minute, I'm gonna put the wheels on. You'll see how it turns out. Okay, it looks like the baskets fit pretty good. 
Look at that. All right. That'll work. So what I used here is these wheels. Let's see if I can get this up. Sorry. Seizing, I just put four wheels on the bottom. I went two inches in on both sides and then just secured them. I use metal screws because they're just short and easy to use and thick enough to give it a good bond. There we go. So tomorrow, we'll add the trim. I'll just basically match the uh, ship lap. Oh, look at that, it's good. So tomorrow, we'll just add the uh, ship lap across the front and put a handle on it, and they should be good to go. From there, it'll just be a matter of caulking uh, some of the spaces or their little gaps and then uh, spackling the nail holes and touching up with paint. But uh, overall, I'm real pleased how this is coming out. All right, check it out. Ship lap is on, drawer handles are on, wheels are on, cushions are on. Everything is on point here. I'm excited about this piece of furniture. It's beautiful. It's gonna serve a very functional purpose for my family. And I hope you can build something similar. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today. Jude wants to tell you something. Um, make sure to like and subscribe because if you want to see more beautiful like this, you need just to be a subscriber. That's right. And tell us what you want us to build next, and we just might do it. Jude, anything else? Um, next, I really want to build like a house we could sell for a few thousand to like. <laughs> Man, this guy's a smart kid. Now you're thinking big bucks, Judah. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.